I don't have that kind of a bit. Damn it. Two of these bolts on the bottom. One right there. One. If you can see it. Directly above the transmission cooler lines. Right there. There's definitely more hiding. So I'm going to find out where they are. So beneath the fuel water separator. Oh boy. Like past the lift pump, there's this one bolt on the top end of the starter. Oh. It's super fun to get to. While I'm down here, 10 millimeter is what I use, but it's this 12 sided. Hopefully, you can see that all right. It's not a, a six sided, it's a 12 sided wrench and that fits in it. I'll show you a close-up of the bolt later. Here's that bolt so you can see. Corresponds with this 10 millimeter. But you got to get the one that has more than six sides on it. And it fits perfectly. Nice and snug. Standard won't work. I tried that. It fits between a 7 and 16 is too big. 3 8 is too small. So 10 millimeter. That's what you want. I believe this wire is bolted on with an 8mm, but I couldn't find it for the life of me. So I just cracked it loose with some pliers. It's not on there very tight. It's such a small bolt. To rebuild this, you got to take off this access plate, which is just some Phillip head screws. Seventeen millimeter. Go ahead and pull this out. Watch out for that spring. Loosen this with your seventeen millimeter. If you can get that to stop spinning. Hang on. This side that has the battery terminal connection for the positive is held on by a 15 millimeter and then these contact points are bolted into the the starter with a 17 inch so that way you can keep track of it the one coming off the other side that goes directly into the starter is a 17 inch and another 17 inch bolted together Gino's garage sent me a couple of stickers and a bag of popcorn which is different, but right on. This is pressed in there, kind of like a little stud. You can see the, the grooves in there, but I just put the bolt, or the nut on the end of the bolt, gave it a little bit of a tap, and it, it came right out. When I was browsing for this rebuild kit online, on Amazon, on a lot of the reviews, they were saying about how these parts, one side was big and one side was small, and it wasn't heavy duty enough to match the factory stuff. But you can see how the factory stuff used to be, that worn one, the one that's obviously worn. And these other two shiny parts are the same size. They're both beefy, so it appears to be nothing wrong with it, just fine. This tab in here, it's thicker on one side than it is on the other side. The thin side goes right here where these ears are. Slides right in there, and you snug that down, where that kind of just slides into place. There's also an O-ring that goes over here, so check that out. If it's broken, replace it. Copper is pretty soft, so this stud will press into there pretty easy, just by torquing that bolt. That's 17 millimeter, but you got to be careful because this dang plastic thing gets in the way. You can see so there's barely any room to bite onto the nut there. So just try not to strip it. I'm thinking this solenoid has been rebuilt before. I think this is the light duty on the one side that the Amazon reviews were talking about. But there's the second side. Both of these on both sides look exactly the same. So nothing to worry about. So hopefully this is going to give me a little bit of a better starter. Than what I had in there before. 
This side doesn't have an O-ring, but it has that wire coming off is the first thing on this bolt. Then it has the new contact points, and then it has this bit of plastic that flips upside down and puts on the bolt next before you push it through the hole. So a plastic piece, a washer, 17 millimeter, earlier in the video I kept on saying 17 inch, 17 millimeter nut. And then you put the, the wire terminal there, and then the other, the flared out 17 millimeter nut. Double nut. Two differences between the two sides. This one, like I said before, has two 17 millimeters with this terminal that, that goes between it, that goes to the actual starter, from the solenoid to the starter. The other side has a 15 millimeter and a 17 millimeter. The second difference is this side that goes straight to the battery is a stud where this side is not. It's just a bolt. So if you get those mixed up, it's probably not a huge, huge deal, but those are the differences. This is the last piece before I put it all back together, put the cover plate on and reinstall it. Goes right in there. Don't forget that long skinny spring. Kind of got to fish it around this that cable there. But the plate is going to hold some pressure on it after you put that on. Don't forget this gasket that goes in there. Wet. February uh, 14th, I think. Not particularly warm. Lots of water, but I gotta get this thing in. This is the puddle I have my head in. Before I leave my puddle, I'm gonna double check things. Two studs, there's one that I can get from the top, which is what I did when I took it off. That wire that goes straight to the battery, that one, that, who the heck knows what. Anyways, I think that's it. And then I got that one stud I gotta put in the top. I got the last bolt in. I hooked up the, the grounds on both the batteries. Take my word for it, I didn't film it because that ground ha hog had to see his shadow. Ground hog. Woohoo! Got it! And nothing's on fire! Boom! Oh.